living in Scotland it's often quite wet so if you don't just head out there then you wouldn't really do anything. I actually quite like it, it's invigorating and just makes you feel quite alive being out in the, in the cold and the, the rain and especially having a, a furry friend to go out with. She's always happy and excited to be out so it kind of it's infectious that enthusiasm. Good morning, my name is Hannah Barnes, I'm a professional mountain biker and I'm a mum to Inga and dog mum to Lumi and I live in the beautiful Scottish Highlands so today we're going to go on an adventure and I'm going to give you some inspiration and top tips for how to take your dog with you. So it's a bit cold and wet out there but it's okay, we're going to have a cup of tea and then we'll just get some waterproofs on and, and head out. Hey Lumi, what do you think to that? So we got Lumi when she was a tiny puppy. She's been part of our life for, for quite a while now and I can't imagine life without her really. I've got my waterproof jacket, my phone, really lightweight water bottle. I've got Lumi's lead and a harness. I'm going to leave these things back at the van for when we get back. We can have some lunch here. Probably won't actually need the water there, sun cream today, but you never know. Let's go Lumi. Look at this weather, it's so much nicer than the forecast. One tip is to research your dog breed and to adapt your adventure to suit the breed. It depends on the age of your dog. So if they're a puppy up until the age of one, and I think even in larger breeds, it's up until the age of two, that you have to be really aware not to do too much with them. It's really easy to do far too much with your dogs when they're young. Another tip is to not feed your dog um, their big breakfast meal right before you head out for a run. So I usually just give Lumi a little handful of food, but not much. Just make sure your dog has their collar and their name tag on. And I always like to bring a lead or a leash with me. When I take Lumi mountain biking with me, I always try to choose trails which are a bit softer. Um, it's much nicer for her paws and for her joints if it's soft underfoot. Another tip is to always bring water for your dog, especially if you're going to be away from a water source like streams or rivers. Whenever I'm thirsty, I think, well, maybe Lumi's thirsty and I always offer her a drink when I'm having a drink myself. It's good to be aware of what's in your area which might be hazardous to your dog, whether it's predators or anything they might eat, like poisonous berries or anything like that. amazing the power of being outside and seeing horizons and wide open spaces. One of the things I love about having Lumi is I think she just keeps me totally in the present. Dogs don't have all the kind of the day-to-day -day stresses and worries, they're totally living in the moment. I would say just start small and ask around for a bit of advice and just go for it. You'll have such a great time. I'm Hannah and this is Lumi and this is how we go. Come on Lumi!